So um, if you're getting your main bearings, I know I talked about in another video um, about the correct bearing sizes for a 4.7 liter engine, Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler. Uh, if you didn't watch that video, I'll kind of explain it again. The journal sizes on the 4.7 liter uh, stock crankshaft vary in size. There's three different sizes here for your journal bearings. Now, I had my crank inspected and measured each journal by the machine shop, and these are the numbers. So now, I'm gonna match these up. I would say, honestly, don't go by the letters that are on the tone wheel. Have them checked, double check, and make sure. And then when you install them, plastic gauge them and triple check and make sure. This is important stuff. So you can see here my journal sizes, the last two are a little different, but they all fall in the grade A category. So they're undersized. So I went ahead and ordered those bearings, but uh, since I've got to return these and it's kind of a problem, I figured I'd make a video and show you what to look for if you order new bearings. Um, this one, I knew immediately when I opened this box that these were bad. This is horrible packaging on part of Opar. <laughs> I don't know why you'd put main bearings like that. But this one's not too bad. It looks okay. But if you'd see there, there is some scoring. And if I put my finger on that, I can feel the scoring on it. This bearing is no good. If I put this in the engine, my engine is going to fail pretty prematurely. This one's not that bad, but let me see if I can find you one here that's just... I was kind of upset because I was hoping to get my engine start put together this weekend, but no, they sent me bearings that are absolutely destroyed. You can see the scoring on there. Um, when you get any type of engine bearing, make sure you inspect them because this, <laughs> this is really important stuff. So you could see that's pretty good right there. This is no good. There's nothing I can do to save this bearing. I can feel that with my finger and my nail catches on these little burrs. That will tear up your crank pretty quick. So luckily the company I got these from, which is uh, moparoverstock.com, um, I called them up, told them the situation with the bearings. They're going to send me some new ones and then give me a return shipping label to send these back. So, you know, a couple days delay, but uh, at least I'll get some, hopefully, get some bearings that aren't scored. I asked them this time if they could at least open up the box and look at them before they sent them to me. So, um, yeah, if you ever get some bearings, make sure you look at them and inspect them. Uh, typically, bearings come well, these are my thrust bearings typically bearings come in a box well, on here and they plastic wrap them so they can't bounce around here's my rod bearings see that's how you package bearings you have them all there they can't move around they're not going to get scratched up like these are just in a box that can move around that's just I, I don't understand why you would uh, do that but um, I guess another th important thing to cover is your rod bolts as well uh, since I'm rebuilding this engine it says directly in the manufacturers uh, instructions to not reuse your rod connecting rod bolts so I went ahead same company mopoweroverstock.com I went ahead and ordered brand new connecting rod bolts I got 16 of them and um, I don't know if they actually need to be replaced the manufacturer says that if you ever loosen them or take them out you must replace them so I ain't about to jip myself on just $60 worth of bolts 
um, and have a connecting rod cap fall off while I'm driving the engine. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace those. Same with your head bolts. Go ahead and get a new set of head bolts because these need to be replaced if you change the heads. Um, when you tor torque these down, they're torqued to yield, so these things stretch. So you can't reuse them. In my opinion, that's kind of stupid because now I gotta buy all new bolts. But if you're gonna rebuild an engine, you're gonna do it right. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to cut corners when you're building a motor that you want to depend on. So remember, inspect your bearings. Don't hesitate to send them back and get new ones till they get it right. This is important stuff. Um, change your bolts if the manufacturer recommends doing it. And, uh, you know, take your time, inspect things, make sure things are clean. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time when I hopefully get some new bearings and I start installing the crankshaft on the motor. All right, see ya.